Minato Namakaze, the fourth Hokage, is often remembered for his incredible speed and sacrifice. However, there's more to his story than just being the yellow flesh of Konoha. Beneath his incredible combat prowess was a man of unparalleled intellect and innovation. He wasn't simply a ninja who excelled in battle. Minato was a strategist, an inventor, and a leader who ensured Konoha's survival for generations. In today's video, we'll explore the lesser-known aspects of Minato's genius, his groundbreaking techniques, leadership, and the legacy he left behind. What made Minato a true icon was not just his powers, but how he used it to protect and empower others. The Flying Thunder God technique was Minato's signature move, one that earned him the title of Yellow Flash and terrorized enemies across the battlefield. Originally developed by Tobirama Senju, the Jutsu allowed the user to teleport instantly to a marked location. However, it was Minato who refined the technique to perfection. Unlike Tobirama, Minato combined his unparalleled speed and intelligence to use it as a tactical weapon, setting up markers across battlefields to decimate enemy forces in seconds. One of his most famous feats was single-handedly defeating an entire platoon, leaving survivors to warn others of his legend. This level of precision and creativity turned his powerful jitsu into a battlefield game changer. Minato didn't just use the flying thunder god as an offensive tool, he turned it into a symbol of hope for his allies and fear of his enemies. Minato's use of teleportation wasn't random. He mapped out entire battlefields in his mind, placing markers in strategic locations to maximize his mobility and efficiency. His mastery of the Flying Thunder God was a testament of his brilliance, showcasing not just his speed, but also unparalleled foresight in combat. Minato's creation of the Rasengan is a perfect example of his ingenuity and deep understanding of chakra. Inspired by observing the destructive power of the Tilt Beast Bomb, Minato sought to create a technique that concentrated pure chakra into a stable rotating sphere. The Rasengan became a powerful jitsu with no need for hand seals, making it a versatile and deadly weapon. Although Minato never added a nature transformation to the Rasengan, its simplicity and effectiveness made it one of the most iconic techniques in the Naruto universe. What made the Rasengan truly special is its legacy. Minato passed the technique to Jiraiya, who later taught it to Naruto. The Rasengan became a symbol of growth, with each generation refining it further, from Naruto's Rasen Shuriken to Boruto's vanishing Rasengan. This invention wasn't just a reflection of Minato's genius, it was a gift to future generations. By creating a technique that relied on pure chakra control, Minato inspired others to push the boundaries of what was possible with ninjutsu. Minato's role in the Third Great Ninja War solidified his reputation as one of the most brilliant minds in Konoha's history. The war was a chaotic struggle involving multiple nations, but Minato's leadership and technical genius helped turn the tide in Konoha's favor. One of his most significant contributions was his ambush on Iwagakura forces, where he single-handedly annihilated an entire platoon using the flying god Thunder. This act not only showcased his power, but also struck fear into Konoha's enemies, earning him a reputation as an unstoppable force. Minato's quick thinking and ability to analyze enemy movements gave Konoha a decisive edge in conflict. Beyond his combat feats, Minato's strategic mind was evident in his ability to plan and adapt under pressure. During the war, he didn't just rely on brute strength, he coordinated his allies, anticipated enemy strategies and diverse countermeasures on the fly. Minato's final act during the Ninetales attack was both a testament to his brilliance and a symbol of selflessness. When the Ninetales, under Obito's control, attacked Konoha, Minato quickly realized that conventional methods wouldn't be enough to stop the disaster. Instead of simply defeating the beast, he chose to seal it into his newborn son, Naruto. This decision wasn't made lightly. It was a calculated move to protect the village while giving Naruto a powerful weapon for future. Minato also embedded his and Kushina's chakra into the seal, ensuring they could guide Naruto when the time came. 
the act of sacrifice highlighted Minato's ability to think beyond the immediate crisis and consider the long-term implications of his actions. By entrusting Naruto with Kurama's power, he ensured that Konoha would have a future protector capable of handling threats even greater than the Ninetales. Minato's sealing jitsu wasn't just a demonstration of his skill. It was a careful planned strategy to balance power, responsibility and legacy. His willingness to sacrifice his life and his family's happiness for the greater good is what truly defines him as a hero. Minato's mentorship of Kakashi, Obito and Rin showcased his ability to nurture talent and instill values in the next generation of shinobi. Despite their differences, Minato treated his students with patience and respect, fostering a sense of unity in his team. He emphasized the importance of teamwork and sacrifice, lessons that shaped Kakashi's leadership and Obito's eventual redemption. Minato's teachings weren't just about combat, they were about morality, responsibility and the will of fire that defined Konoha's spirit. Even after his death, Minato's influence continued to shape his students' actions. Kakashi carried the lessons of responsibility and leadership into his role as a Jonin and later as Hokage. Obito, despite his fall into darkness, was ultimately redeemed by the values instilled in him by Minato. This enduring impact highlights Minato's role as more than just a fighter. He is a guide, a mentor, and a beacon of hope to those around him. Minato's tenure as Hoekage was tragically short, but even in that brief time, he demonstrated the qualities of a remarkable leader. Unlike many of his predecessors, Minato prioritized efficiency, innovation, and the welfare of his people. Minato's strategic mind wasn't just limited to the battlefield, it extended to his governance. He sought to maintain Konoha's strength while fostering alliances, ensuring the village's survival in the volatile shinobi world. His approach reflected a modern vision of leadership, one that blended power with diplomacy. However, Minato's ultimate death left many questions about what he could have accomplished if he had lived longer. Would he have ushered a new era of peace in Konoha, or perhaps bridged the divide between nations earlier? Minato's focus on preparing the next generation, as seen in his mentorship and his decision to entrust Naruto with Kurama's chakra, suggests that he valued long-term stability over short-term gains. His ideals likely would have shaped Konoha into a village that prioritized collaboration and innovation.